Recently we've been learning about bee diseases and different pests that can affect the hive and their productivity. Also the anatomy of the bees and how to inspect a hive like we're doing at the moment. Just a few of the things on the curriculum at Kelso High School. Bees young apiarists or beekeepers have been learning about these insects for four years. They've become some of the first in Scotland to get a level five qualification in the subject. They might be young, but the teachers say it's important for the industry to get them interested early. Today, the majority of beekeepers are like me, they're getting old, they're grey, and it takes a long time to become a good beekeeper. Uh, I'm still learning, I'm still an apprentice beekeeper seven years after starting. Uh, these guys have got a lot longer because they're starting at the age of 11 and 12 and that's so important uh, for the craft of beekeeping. It takes some courage to get this close and personal to these insects that can give a nasty sting but the students take all precautions including gloves, suits and hoods so they can safely learn about the inner workings of a colony. And they're for the bees to um, either lay eggs on or produce honey. As well as learning everything bee related, the students know how to look after the hive, extract honey and the important role these insects play for our planet. Because of the decrease in population of bees, if more people can learn about beekeeping then it will be very good for the local agriculture and the economy. And this certificate is just the beginning. For us it now opens so many more doors to work with other schools. It's our young people being part of the community. Being rural, it's about the whole crops, it's about the farming, and bees are centre to that. And I think that has opened a lot of eyes and really has grown that interest for our young people that they can contribute to the wider life of, of the country as well, which is, is super. Organisers hope the course will inspire the students to get buzzed about the subject and even carry it on as a hobby, keeping the future of the humble bee looking sweet. Jennifer Cordingly, ITV News, Kelso.